Welcome to this third installment of the Amiga CD32 review project. This time around I've taken a look at something as rare as a first person shooter for the Amiga, Alien Breed 3D, which was developed and published by Team17 and released in 1995. Doom by ID Software was released in December of 1993 and as you probably know it took the world by storm. All of a sudden all gamers wanted to be playing was first person shooters. And of course a lot of developers immediately started working on their own Doom clones. This game is one of those Doom clones, for better or for worse. The level design is pretty standard Doom fare. Not as good as in Doom mind you, but decent. You run around in tight corridors looking for colored keys, like in Doom, to open color coded doors in order to progress. While doing so you are of course attacked by some different creatures. Creatures that look so much like the creatures from Doom that it's a bit disconcerting. The controls allow you to shoot, change weapon, run, duck and strafe. A fine selection of actions for an FPS and the addition of strafe is very welcome. Ok, I think I've said all the positive things I can about this game, so here goes. My initial impression with Alien Breach 3D was that it was complete and utter crap. There, I said it. Had it actually been possible to control using the joypad, I might have liked it, but it wasn't. Had it performed better than the two friggin frames per second that my CD32 struggled to spit out, I might have cared for it, but it didn't. Don't even think about using the run button. You won't be able to control anything in the few frames that you get and you'll probably just end up running into the nearest wall. And don't get me started on the placement of enemies throughout the levels. Oftentimes I'd be getting hurt without being able to find out where the damn monster was, simply because it would be standing beneath me and biting my knees off. Oh, and I got motion sick after about 10 minutes. This is definitely not a game I'd recommend you pick up today, unless you have fond memories of playing it back in the day. We all know what those rose tinted glasses of nostalgia can do. That being said, I've heard that the game plays a lot better if you have an 8MB fast RAM expansion and an accelerator card in your Amiga 1200. That would fix the frame rate and if the frame rate was thus fixed, the controls would feel better and that might just make me change my mind about this game. But as it plays on a standard CD32, I can't recommend it. But enough ranting for now, let's take a look at what the reviewers at the time had to say about Alien Breed 3D. Surprisingly, they really liked it, so maybe I'm missing something entirely. CU Amiga gave it an 86% score. They spent most of the time of the review criticizing that the game wasn't optimized to run on the CD32, but they still awarded a very high score. Strange if you ask me. Amiga Format gave it 93% and they compared Alien Breed 3D to Marathon on the Mac, albeit a Marathon that had had its wings clipped and doesn't fly so well anymore. Furthermore, the reviewer talks about really enjoying playing the A1200 version and thus goes ahead and suggests that you buy the CD32 version. I bet he never played it on the CD32 at all. Amiga CD32 Gamer gave it 91% and they write, the CD32 hasn't got the best resolution in the world and a lot of computational power is needed to generate the 3D display, so obvious compromises have to be made somewhere. For me, there is no doubt about why this game is rated so well on the CD32 back in the day. In 1995, Amiga was fighting a losing battle with PC, and the reviewers of Amiga-only magazines desperately wanted it to persevere, so they rated this game favorably to show that the PC wasn't the only place you could play first-person shooters. I'm sure the game is good on a fully pimped A1200 with lots of extra RAM and an accelerator card, but the CD32 version stinks. As you know by now, I really don't care for the Amiga CD32 version of Alien Breed 3D. I'd give it 2 points out of 5. If you want to try this game, fire up an emulator, set on the accelerator cards and all the RAM you can get, and then it might be good. But don't pub it into your old CD32.